I'm a rookie in financial industry. Uh, I've been working with the financial sector uh, 11 months so far. And so my background is uh, from media and the mobile side, where I've been 15 years working on value-added services, content services and ecosystems. Uh, so I want to reflect a little bit today what I learned uh, from those industries and uh, what I've uh, preserved from the financial uh, industry in my first year. And today I'm uh, uh, a little bit touching the, the security and the compliance, uh, which uh, of course in this industry are probably uh, it's the toughest regulated industry of all. Okay, I want to start this uh, with the story about Pertti. Pertti is a Finnish uh, a university student, has just finished his semester and is enjoying the beautiful uh, Finnish spring weather. He has a summer job starting in June, so he would like to get a quick getaway to Ibiza. That's what he's dreaming about. Unfortunately, he doesn't have any money. He spent all the money, uh, uh, the last pennies in Vappu. Luckily, there is a great new uh, uh, service available that combines traveling, financing and insurance. So he finds a really good offer that I can get uh, part-time payments, financing and a great time at Ibiza. But Berti is a clever guy. Even that we learned this morning that people don't behave rationally, Berti has some rationalism left. Can I trust this? You know, what kind of payment terms, what kind of loan terms am I getting? Are they fair? Is the travel insurance really going to cover something if something happens? Is the hotel as good as expected? So there are a lot of doubts, and even one doubt will actually you know, prevent the purchase. So it's a missed sales opportunity. So I want to kind of um, stop and think about what could banks do that this would not happen, that the transaction would be actually finalized, Perti would be happy, and all the service providers behind the service would be happy. So let's look at trust from some other angle. So what elements do we need to build trust? Of course, in the banking and the financial sector, compliance is one of the issues that all the banks are spending a lot of money. Second thing is security. Once again, a lot of money is spent on this one, and we learned this weekend that it's actually worth spending money on this one. So, uh, to, my, to my knowledge, the Nordic countries were not hit uh, by this uh, randomware uh, so badly as some other countries. Uh, there is more and more directives coming, uh, which uh, increase the cost on compliance and security. But these all, you know, the money spent on this is really invisible to the end user, and they don't really care. So what you need to really build trust is openness and transparency. And my experience, this is my personal experience, is that the financial industry is really poor on this. I'm sorry, you guys, but you are not doing a great job. Uh, openness and transparency, as we heard this morning, is really a key element on building trust. And uh, the fintechs, some of them are better in this one, but I would also say that some of them are as poor as the financial industry. So this is something that we really need to work together uh, uh, to achieve. So what I'm saying is that you know, we should really make security visible and build trust. And the banks could take a leading role on creating cl clear guidelines how to de deploy services in the ecosystem, what kind of end user terms, where are they uh, uh, visible, can they be all acquired in one place, and put a bank's stamp on the fintech services that this is something that will give you fair terms. You need to give people fair terms. You can rip off people once, and it's okay if you are in a business that you only look for one-time transaction with the people. But we heard Jarle yesterday talking about the customer lifetime value. And if you want to maximize the customer lifetime value, you cannot rip him off. 
you have to give them fair terms. But it was said that people are actually willing to pay for trust. So you can have a premium for building trust. And uh, it's not only the trust and the compliance. We just heard from the, the uh, panel discussion how Nordia is doing a great job that they are basically giving uh, their compliance uh, information to the startups. So they're spending a lot of money uh, 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 looking at the, through the regulations and uh, what can be done and cannot be done. And of course, that is something that you need to open for, uh, for the startups because they don't have the legal power to read through all the EU directives and try to think about what they mean or what they don't, or what I can do, I can't do. The banks are good. They need to open up that information. They need to probably open up the security uh, department's uh, knowledge and assets. They are really good at building at firewalls and securing that there are no breaches and the data is protected. But it's also service design. So how do you set up? How do you create the end user uh, experience? And if possible, you create it uh, seamlessly in different services that it can be combined to the bank and it can be combined to the bank's uh, brand and the bank's trust. And, uh, for example, customer service. You know, if something goes wrong with the fintech service, uh, how many of you banks are willing to take care and uh, act as a first-line uh, help, help desk or call center for the fintechs? Have you built the processes for that? So what I'm saying is that, really, the banks have a great assets that they can turn into business by putting a, a stamp on the fintech ecosystem services that people will trust, that will give them premium and uh, 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 earn logic. I'm going to skip that one. So, what will happen is that uh, Perti sees a bank's brand, he trusts the banks, he trusts that the terms are okay, the travel agent doesn't screw me, the hotel is four stars, and I'm going to have a great time in Ibiza. Okay, this is a no, wrong place. So, my idea is that create a secure partner ecosystem. Take all the elements, take the transparency, take the service design, take the compliance, take the security. Create an ecosystem that has all these elements in place. It's not just the APIs and it's not about data flowing. Banks really can make a, a, a extra revenues from their brand. So, I hope we're all going to have sunny days for this summer. Thank you.